First to make his way to the glory ring, he's coming off a decision victory over Hesty Gerges at Glory 18, Oklahoma. Please welcome Benjamin Adekbuye. Thirty-year-old Benjamin, Mr. Gentleman Adek Bowie, with a record of 19 and 2, 13 wins via stoppage, a perfect 3 and 0 in the Glory Ring with two wins via KO, has recorded 50 percent of his total strikes landed in those three fights. Did karate from 10 to 13. It's been kickboxing for the last five years. This man has fought and vanquished some of the sport's biggest names. Saki, Gita, Zimmerman. He is Rico Verhoeven. Back in the day, Eric B and Rakim dropped the joint. Don't sweat the technique. Glory heavyweight champion Rico Verhoeven has made plenty of his opponents sweat with his technique as he gets set to defend the title against the big hitter, Benjamin Adek Bowie. And big being the operative. Both of these guys are enormous. Benjamin Adek Bowie has one inch in the uh, height advantage, but other than that, these guys are well matched, well sized. And the only difference here is experience. Verhoeven has more experience and he's holding the belt. So in front of 6,000 fans here in Lille, France, the moment has come. It's time for the main event, the Glory Heavyweight Championship up for grabs. Here once again is Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, Two of the world's top young talents have come to test their skills for a shot at the sport's biggest prize, the Golden Glory Belt. Five rounds for the Glory Heavyweight Championship of the World. For all of the fans gathered with us here in beautiful Lille, France, to kickboxing fans watching around the world, it's time for glory! Let's meet the challenger fighting out of the black corner. He comes in rank number two in the Glory World Rankings and will put his perfect 3-0 glory record on the line. His professional record, 19 wins with two losses, 13 of those wins by knockout. At 6 feet 6 inches tall, 1.98 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 259 pounds, 117.6 kilos, fighting tonight for Romania. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gentleman, Benjamin Adegbui. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, eight and one in nine glory starts. He makes his second defense of the belt. At 45 and 10 with 11 knockouts, he stands six feet, five inches tall, 1.96 meters. He weighed in at 257 and one half pounds, 116.9 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, the reigning and defending Glory heavyweight champion of the world, the prince of kickboxing, Rico Verhoeven. Your referee in charge of the ring, Stefano 
Valenti. Okay, guys. Remember, keep up your head and pay attention to the inside globe. Right? Okay. Corner. Five three-minute rounds for the Glory Heavyweight Championship. Verhoeven, the champion, eight and one lone loss against inaugural Glory Heavyweight Champion Sammy Shields, seated at ringside, forced to vacate the crown due to a heart condition. Benjamin Adebuwi, less experienced. This is his first five-round fight. Fight! The bell and round one. It was that loss at Glory 4 in Tokyo, Japan to Sammy Schilt that proved to be an awakening for Verhoeven where he said to himself, you know what? I can hang with the very best. I'm going to become the very best. And now at 26, he's a champion just entering the prime of his career. In fact, the older Adek Bowie didn't start his career until he was 26. Adek Bowie's doing a good job of stopping that inside leg kick. The one I was worried about getting chopped out. Challenger in the black gloves, champion in the white. The jab gets through the high guard. Verhoeven. Good jab. Eats a couple of more stiff jabs from Adek Bowie. Verhoeven coming off as Maiden Voyages champion, defeating rival Errol Zimmerman in their rubber match. An anticlimactic oh, wow. man. The of these jabs. jabs. Popping his head back like that Pez dispenser. Zimmerman suffered a knee injury in that fight. We wish him a speedy recovery. Adebui's jab distance is really nice. Leans in, totally pushes his shoulder out there. It's a fantastic jab. Adebui looking for the oh. knockout and rattles him with that right hand. The last time Verhoeven was knocked out was against a Zimmerman back in 2012. Adebui's got pop in that right hand. Now, Eddie Bowie's two losses in his career have come courtesy of left hooks. But man, he, these two are just teeing off on each other. And remember, against Zimmerman, we saw an ultra-aggressive Verhoeven come out, and he was slapped by his cornerman, Dennis Crowell, yeah. in that first round, saying you're making it a 50-50 fight. Is he doing the same thing here? I don't think so. I think he's technically doing what he's supposed to be doing here. But I don't, I don't He's not think vacating the premises. He's not leaving. I think the, the power punching has surprised him a little bit. Under a minute left in the opening round. Strong start for the challenger. Jab by Verhoeven. His conditioning, non peril Physically fit, can go five rounds easy. Beautiful combination by Eddie Bowie. And again lands that jab. That right hand of Adebui is a monster. That's his money punch, the overhand right. But the jab has been effective thus far, and there's a left body kick. Under 30 seconds remaining in the first round. Verhoeven proving he can take a shot as he's ate, eaten some leather so far in this opening round. And again, the jab connects. He's not only eating the jab, he's walking into the power. Now there's that Adek rear Bowie. push kick we've seen in the past that he's finally starting to use in the dying stages of round one. Good opening round of action and a great start for Benjamin Adek Bowie, the challenger. How'd you score that round? I'm giving the challenger the round. Why? I think his affecting punch is better. He was, he was more in position, did more damage. And it wasn't just boxing punches. He, he was punching high, he was punching low. Look at this, jab, pop the head up. Position, position. He's working that head, double jab. He is thoroughly controlling the boxing range and the position. That right hand hurt him. You saw Verhoeven take a short step stumble. That left hook got in. The boxing game, Verhoeven is losing right now. Second down, second down, come on, come on. Second time. Fight. Round two begins. Scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Verhoeven defeated Daniel Gita in a rematch at the last man standing pay-per-view last June in Los Angeles to claim the title. Now in his second defense against the heavy-hitting Benjamin Adek Bowie. 
There's Verhoeven flashing his jab. Not utilizing the footwork, though, that we've seen in the past. Not as much. Not as much at all. Wanting to sit down and stay in the pocket, and there again, continues to dine on those nasty jabs. There's some good inside low kicks. Look at total punches, all in favor of Adek Bowie. And the volume, much higher. Not connecting on a high clip, but the ones that land have been effective. Meanwhile, as expected, Verhoeven with the edge and kicks. Adek Bowie known for his boxing. And that is the question, which will prove to be victorious. What strategy? So far, they're standing toe-to-toe, -to -toe just like the fans like it. And what a night it's been here in Lille, France, for Glory 22. We say night for the rest of the world. It's matinee mayhem back in North America. Verhoeven needs to get that push kick going again. Come on, let's fight. Nice. Inside low kick by the champion. Outside low kick, attacking that lead leg now with vigor. Just past the midway point of the second. They're hooping from a southpaw stance. That one was below the belt. I think Louie told me if he had his way, it'd be a second round knockout well, in the champion. And I think Verhoeven is hoping to take him into those deep waters and drown him in the fourth or fifth where he's never been before. Ben. Well, they're looking to reconfigure each other's uh, faces and the ladies tell me they like their his countenances, but man, what action. Well, Hoban's really picking up those inside leg kicks, disrupting the balance. Starting to chop away at the challenger with 45 seconds left in the second. Wants to blind him with that flashing jab before delivering those kicks. There's a push kick from the champ. And meanwhile, Adek Bowie's output wow. remains steadfast, delivering those combinations, but maybe not as much starch on the jab, yep. especially. Yeah, jab's definitely slowed down. Fainted with the knee, misses with the right hand. There's the footwork of the champion who comes in with a punch kick combination, Dutch style. That's right. Let's fight, let's fight, come on. A much better round for the champion, Rico Verhoeven, going to the body with the jab. Terrific stuff here in the main event. Verhoeven finally started moving out this base and chopping these legs out. Look at this, inside, inside. That's how you take out the feet from a boxer, you take away their ability to balance and generate power. We have the bit. Hey, there's the round, blijf sterf. Your kickboxing check, man. So a great second round for Rico Verhoeven. Meanwhile, for Benjamin Edek Bowie, some of that strength being sapped because of those kicks. Yes. Yeah, and he needs to block them and effectively counter and try to stop that attack down. Edek Bowie has been kickboxing for five years, went 5-0 in 2013. That's what got the attention of Glory, where he has reeled off three victories, including two via form of knockout, coming off a win over Hesdi Gergis to get this title opportunity. In tough now, backing the champion up to the corner. There's the jab again. Left, oh, nice right Circled uppercut, out. right cross by Verhoeven. Verhoeven opening up a big edge in kicks and now beginning to find his rhythm. And he's picking up on Adek Bowie too in the percentage, he's landing good shots. And closing the gap in the punching department. Left hook behind the guard by Adek Bowie, but there's that rear push kick Verhoeven is known for, keeping his opponents at bay inside low kick to the lead leg. And you do not want someone like Rico Verhoeven to get his groove because once he starts, it's almost like he gets better as the fight yes, wears on. He gets stronger. 
And conditioning is a question mark for Eddie Bowie because of the size and because of the fact he's never been scheduled to go five rounds before and that his modus operandi is to throw everything with power. Yeah, well, this looks like a turning point, buddy, because he's starting to slow down. Or Hoogan's starting to speed up inside, outside kicks. Push kicks back. That was on the belt, according to referee Valenti. And a buoy attempts an outside low kick. And man, oh. a blistering combination. The jabs, a furious flurry by Verhoeven, and the left round kick to the body. The right hand is still dangerous, but it's certainly slowed down. Man, Adek Verhoeven Bowie. wants to paint a masterpiece with these jabs, and look at Beautiful. it. We talk about technique. He's a titan of technique here in round three. And a buoy beginning to breathe laboriously. And now his foundation. Oh, you can by hear the that chop. Targeting all aspects of Benjamin Adek Bowie's anatomy, mixing it up, varying his attack the way a champion should. Beautiful. Painting his body with that jab. There's a jab from Adek Bowie, but again, his punch output. Fewer and far, farther oh, yeah. in between. He's wearing down. It's all glory heavyweight champion Rico Verhoeven in the third round. Well, the old guard, Sammy Schultz, Remy Bonyaski ringside, and there he is, the epitome of new school at just 26 years of age, reigning atop the glory heavyweight division, Rico Verhoeven. Rico is doing work now with combinations. He's letting them flow, putting everything behind the jab, and bringing that push kick, the round kick, he's really loosened it up. First round, he was just boxing for whatever reason. I don't know if he wanted to feel the range, but now he's got it, and he is hacking that leg. Holding, holding position, out. he's not stepping back. It's Media one please. inch. Seconds out, please. Mouth. Point. Years ago, Dennis Crowell, Rico Verhoeven's trainer, Saw Benjamin Eddick Bowie in competition, and he told Rico, one day you're going to face him and, and in a big fight, and here it is. And even Verhoeven had said that he was a future contender, maybe he thought it was a little too soon for Eddick Bowie in his fourth glory fight, just his 22nd fight as a pro, as his head snaps back courtesy of the jab. And right now he is being outclassed by the champion. He's being outclassed and outworked. This is why Verhoeven is the champion. He can take his athleticism, his mindset, and his intention and whoop your butt. And these are the championship rounds, the deep water where Verhoeven oh. wanted to drown at a buoy and continue on, to silence on. those critics who claim that his style is boring. I, I don't see how you could call what we're seeing on display here today anything close to boring. Total strikes. Wow. All in favor of Verhoeven landing at 42%, throwing 221. And he has utilized his entire arsenal, picking apart the challenger, chopping away at the legs, tattooing him with the jab and combinations upstairs. Now Eddie Bowie fires off a couple of jabs, but eats two quick ones of his own. Beautiful. Oh. And Eddie Bowie showing life here in round four. Oh, Verhoeven trying to knee the thigh now. Alec Bowie trying to catch a breath. One minute left in the fourth round. Alec Bowie may be wanting to bait the champion into the corner, but Verhoeven maintaining his distance, utilizing the jab. Attacking the legs. Beautiful combination. Focused. 
Laura Ranallo alongside Frank Shamrock. It's beautiful, it's brutal, it's the Glory Heavyweight Championship. Up for grabs as champion Rico Verhoeven continues to work on the challenger, Benjamin Ennick Bowie. One round left in this championship tilt. Verhoeven looking better and better as the fight wears on. still got that one punch. He's still got that right hand. And Attic Bowie re-inspired here to kick off round five. The sense of urgency showing the championship medal at least and eating these techniques. And there's that jab again that went missing for a few rounds. But look at Verhoeven coming back with triple, quadruple, the shots. stances, Verhoeven's just marching along. A minute gone in the fifth. One, two by Adik Bowie, but Verhoeven walks right through it, delivers a combination of his own. Well, that one set him back, that one set Adik Bowie back. The pace remains oh, in the champion's favor. <laughs> you need him right in the thigh. Okay, come on, let's fight. Yes, come on. He just needs a knee him once or twice more and he's done. I think he feels it. Oh, body work by Adam Bowie. Body kick. Coming into the fight, Verhoeven has just 11 knockouts in his 45 victories. Many people believe he's on the cusp of maybe breaking through and becoming a knockout artist as he matures as a heavyweight because when you're a heavyweight, Everyone has knockout power. But I'm sure he's content to continue to paint this masterpiece in France. The kicks, the punches, the defense. It's all Rico Verhoeven. Wow, right beautiful up. combo. Wow. We are watching an artist at work. Head kick by Verhoeven. Inside low kick, continues to vary his attack while Eddie Bowie at best can just attack the head, wanting to find that Hail Mary. A blizzard of shots from the champion. Final 15 seconds. There's a reason Rico Verhoeven is called Glory Heavyweight Champion. A tremendous display of his techniques here tonight in France. What a performance. And kudos to Benjamin Adek Bowie. He brought who goes the distance with the champion and the crowd on its feet. And they enjoyed a memorable night of action. Glory's first visit to France, the 10th country. The global leader in kickboxing has visited 
And so many tremendous performances here tonight as we look at the final strike stats. You talk about numbers, you talk about amazing. Rico Verhoeven was a machine of punching and kicking, landing 30% of his punches, landing 66% of his kicks, and 80% of his knees, come on. Painting a masterpiece. Agabui came out strong and landed some shots, and his boxing, it seemed like it was really gonna be a problem. Verhoeven switched gears and instantly turned it into his game. Chopped the legs, boxed the head, inside, outside, took the wheels out from underneath. Agabui took the power away. And you saw him in lateral rounds. He started bringing knees into the thigh. If you've ever been kneeing the thigh, that hurts. I've been blessed and humbled as we see Sammy Schilt in the ring to call combat sports at the highest level, whether it be mixed martial arts, boxing. It's time to get on the glory bandwagon, kids. This is tremendous stuff, and what a night it has been here in Lille, France. The very best the sport has to offer. You're looking at him, 26-year-old Rico Verhoeven, with a spectacular display of his techniques and a valiant effort by Benjamin Adegbui. Let's make it official. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we send it to the judges' scorecard. They score this bout 49 46, 49 46, and 50 45. A unanimous decision for your winner. And still, Glory Heavyweight Champion. What a moment for Rico Verhoeven, a dominant display, being congratulated by two legendary champions in Semi Schilt, the inaugural Glory Heavyweight Champion, and Ernesto Hoost, two of the all-time greats, and Rico Verhoeven may be well on his way. I'm here with, is this working? Hello. I'm here with Rico Verhoeven, amazing performance. How do you feel about your performance tonight? Because I think the crowd has their own opinion. Yeah, it was okay. Let's say there's room for improvement, a lot of improvement, but uh, tactically it was okay, but couldn't go a little bit further because he had to get out around the fourth and the fifth round, but it's okay. He's a hard guy, he's a tough guy, and he showed some heart today, so a lot of props to him. Amazing performance, Rico. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Our champion, guys, give him a huge hand. He becomes the first glory champion to successfully defend the title twice, doing it in impressive fashion and being feted by the great crowd on hand here in Lille, France. Pierre Morois Stadium playing host to a tremendous night of glory action as Rico Verhoeven remains the glory heavyweight champion. Congratulations. Let's this fight go on. Can Francois Ambang? Oh, what a shot from Green! 